If you guys want to know the issues and problems I have with the Fortnite weekly challenges and the solutions I have to make them better, stick around to the end of this video to find out. Yo, what is going on guys, DJ Skittles 88 here, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, like I said in the intro, we're going over the issues I have with the Fortnite weekly challenges and the daily challenges, and also the solutions I have for it. Now I will be splitting this video up into parts, so it's easier to digest and I can make like little transitions and stuff like that, and so yeah, just and keep on watching. Well. <laughs> Alright guys, so in this section of the video, I'm basically going to be ranting about one specific challenge, but I'm also going to be mentioning a couple other challenges just as a side note, but the complete time trials in Fortnite challenge is the main focus of this segment, and so basically what you have to do to complete the time trials is there's a set of clocks, there's five sets of clocks that you need to go and get, you basically need to either build up like with using materials or you can find an ATK that'll help you do it easier. But the problem is there's so much RNG and luck that is played into this situation. So basically what could happen is a teammate could try to shoot your structure down or an enemy could kill you or the storm can come and kill you. There's so many different stuff and an ATK couldn't, would not spawn and need to go get an ATK from a different place and that'll take up so much time that the storm will kill you. And it's just really annoying that you guys, you can't do this in playground mode. I think in playground mode it would be so much easier to do, but it would also be a, still a challenge because you still need to build up, use an ATK, all that sort of stuff. But in playground mode, there won't be an opponent or a teammate that will shoot your structure down, right, as you're going to complete the challenge. And so I think it would be so much more fair to just have it done and be done in playground mode. I don't know, but I think that would just be a perfect solution. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. It might be a little bit, I think the, the challenge might be that you're supposed to like try to deal with all the outside elements, but I think that just makes it so unfair because it, it really depends on, on the person because like some people can be really lucky and not have any opponents or any teammates get in their way or anything like that. And so another person could be really unlucky like me and have a teammate destroy their structure right as they're about to complete the challenge. And so I think it's really unfair and it's really luck dependent on. And I think it's just really stupid. I really hate this challenge. I will not finish it because it is just a dumb challenge. And the other challenge I want to talk about is the, like, just do damage with blank. So either do damage with, like, C4. Like, the, the challenge in the recent season was do, like, 8,000 damage with C4 to opponent's structure. But I couldn't find C4 for, like, five or six rounds. And so it was really annoying that I couldn't find C4 because I needed C4 to do damage. And if I can't find it, because of RNG, then that's just stupid, and I really, really don't like that challenge, I don't like when it's like, do damage to like, I don't know, person with like, crossbow, because like, a crossbow isn't even in the game, and so like, it'd be really hard to do, like, I hate when they do like, deal damage with a like, really obscure weapon that like, it's really rare, like, deal damage with like, I don't know, purple RPG, like, that's like the rarest weapon in the game, and so I don't know what, how you expect me to find it, so it's like, really dumb, and I don't know, I just really hate like the RNG luck based challenges and my solution to those just either increase the rarity of every weapon so they're the same or just not do those challenges because they're kind of dumb and they're kind of like not even that fun. It's like deal damage with an AR like everyone deals damage with an AR like it's just I don't know I think it's just dumb and so yeah let's go on to the next segment. <laughs> Okay, so I changed my mic. I'm back with my Samsung Go mic. I think I'm going to stick with this for like the rest of my videos, but I don't know. Comment down below which one do you like better, this one or the other one. And so in this segment, I'm going to be talking about challenges that I think are boring or too easy and the stuff I don't really like about the challenges. Just some adding on to what I said previously. And so the challenges I don't really like are the ones where it's like follow the treasure map found in like Pleasant Park or Tomato Town because you can just go onto YouTube, search up that exact challenge and find like a hollow point video or whoever makes a video on the challenges, watch it, go to the location and then get the star. It's really like lame and the only really challenge is if someone kills you but it's really not that frustrating in my opinion. It's really not that fun to do 
it's really easy and just like anyone can do it so I don't really like it that much. And the ones where it's like search between a gas station, soccer pitch, and stunt mountain, for example, they fall into the same category, which is just like, it's boring. Just look up on YouTube, go to Hollow Point's channel, anyone, I'm saying him because he's like the best one, but like go to any YouTuber that makes Fortnite videos, search up that phrase in the YouTube search box, and then you'll be done with it. There's no real challenge to it. It's really easy. And I guess it's not really Fortnite's fault, but I guess, I mean, they kind of had to see that coming, that a bunch of channels would just make videos on it, but I don't know, I think it's kind of lame and boring and not really fun. And also, this isn't like a huge problem, but it, it, I do kind of lose a little bit of like respect points for Epic, but it's not like that big of a deal. But they do reuse some of the challenges, like in Season 4 they had two different ones where it's like to consume Hop Rocks. Now there's one, they do like slight variations to one of them, but it's not really that big of a deal, it's basically the same thing. And also in Season 4 they had an eliminate uh, people in Tilted Towers and they had the same thing in Season 5. And so you're basically doing the exact same challenge, and I think they're kind of wasting opportunity to make a cool challenge or like a creative challenge, but they kind of just did the same thing. And it's kind of annoying. They also did the same thing with Retail Row. In Season 4, they had to eliminate people in Retail Row, and they had the same thing in Season 5. And so I don't really think that those are that good. I don't think that's a really good idea. It's not terrible, but it's also not, like, good either. They're just kind of reusing the same challenge. And so it's kind of boring, but yeah. And then also, some of them are just too easy. Like, eliminate three people in a single match and use a launch pad. And, like, they consume Hop Rocks. If you got a Dusty Divot, like, even if you go late game or there's not that many people, it's just really easy to consume a lot of hop rocks in season 4 because they're like everywhere so it's really easy and like they're not really challenges unless you're like I don't know unless you're like 2 years old and you don't know how to play Fortnite then I guess it's a challenge but people who buy the battle pass usually are like decent like I'm not saying I'm decent but like people who have the battle pass can at least kill one person I feel like they should like people who have the battle pass I sure they play Fortnite seriously or at least they play Fortnite like a lot and so they kind of want to have like skins and stuff you know emotes v bucks and all that so I feel like they should be able to at least get like one kill and using a launch pad is just so easy because like you go to 50 v 50 there's loot everywhere put down a launch pad and use it for like a second and then boom you're done and plus people in 50 v 50 already have launch pads usually so just use one of theirs I don't know I'm right I don't know why I get so mad about this, but like, I feel like Epic Games can do such a better job because they have really good challenges. They do have a lot of good challenges, we're going to talk about more in the conclusion, but I feel they just waste a lot of their time on these really bad challenges that they're just kind of like doing it for the normies, like the, they're doing it for the noobs and the plebs, but I feel like they should like cater to more of the decent mid players because i mean that would like i guess that would do it for everyone it's a little it's kind of hard but not too hard if you guys know what i'm saying so yeah let's go on to the conclusion okay so for the conclusion i want to give some simple solutions to make the future of the fortnite challenges better and so yeah, let's just get started. And so for the RNG based challenges, which is like the lightning bolts and the time trials I mentioned earlier, they should be able to be completed in playground mode. I still feel like it'd be enough of a challenge to where you're like, okay, this is hard, but it's not unfair because when you're in public matches and you're trying to do it, there's a lot of different outside elements that can make it really just unfair and frustrating, such as opponents docking down your structures, or they're, kill they're them killing you, teammates on down your structures, ATKs not showing up because of RNG, the storm, and if you're in playground mode, it'll be a little bit easier, but I feel like it would still be a challenge. And also, for like the ones that are like really boring or lame, they should have a thing where the players can submit challenges on Reddit or whatever, the forums or whatever, to make it a bit more interesting and spicy, I guess, I don't really know what to say about, about that. But I feel like the challenges now, they're okay. Like, they're just, they're just like kind of like simple and easy. But I feel like the players would have a really good like understanding of what is too hard and what is too easy. And so I feel like the players will have like a really good ideas for challenges. And I also want to go over the challenges that I do like. And so I like the challenges that are like shoot hoops on different baskets in the 
10 or the golf one i think those are actually really creative i like the find the ducks and the gnomes because at least you can just like have fun with it because there's at least it's a bit of a challenge and also i like the one where it's like go through flaming hoops with atks i think that's just really fun i don't know the atks are a really great addition i think they're really fun to use and those are just some examples of the challenges i do like and those are some solutions i have to make Make the challenges a bit more fun and make them a bit more challenging. Make it a bit more worth it for that ten dollars, cause I don't know this season. It, it I don't. It's, I'm kind of iffy on that subject if it's worth ten dollars or not. But yeah, those are my solutions. And I guys, really hope you guys like this video. I spent a long time on it, and even though I'm gonna be uploading more gameplay videos just to hold you guys over, I will want to upload these videos more. But they do take a long time to make. This video took like a day longer than I thought it was going to take. So I, I want to make more, uh, I guess, gameplay videos or just more simpler videos to make. But I will try to make these videos more often because they are really fun to make. I think they're just, I think they're more fun to make than like gaming videos or like the normal ones I make. But they take a long time because I need to do a lot of editing, a lot of recording and all that. But yeah, I really, got, I really hope you guys like this video. If you do, make sure to leave a like subscribe turn notifications on comment down below what you guys thought of this video this video might get some hate because every time you make a hate video on fortnite you get absolutely pooped on but i don't really care i just thought this was a, a good idea so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm gonna try to make videos every monday but i might come out on tuesday so <laughs> yeah sorry about that okay yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time dj skills 88 out